What is going on, IF Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're going to talk about three tricks that you can utilize while doing this 16 8 method. The reason I want to interject some tricks for the 16 8 method specifically is because eight hours is a long time, and with all that time, it could actually increase the margin for error. So I'll go ahead and implement three tricks that you can utilize to be successful in your 16 8 method in this video. Stay tuned.
to set up a main course meal. And what I mean by a main course meal is that it is easier for you to go above your calories if you don't have a main course meal. A main course meal is the main thing that you're looking forward to eating that day. The thing that you've pre-planned in your mind that you're going to actually eat, where you're gonna sit down, put it on a plate. This is going to be this big meal, the biggest meal of the day, and you're going to be able to confidently understand how much calories you're taking in. If you're just grazing or eating throughout the eight hours, you have a higher potential to lose track of your calorie intake. If you're in the boat that you don't want to track calories, this is actually the best way to do it. Because if you're not tracking calories, as long as you have a main course meal, the possibility of you going above your calorie intake is reduced substantially. And even if you're counting calories, having a main course meal, actually increases your satiety because you feel that the last meal that you've eaten is actually filling. This also lends to the psychological aspect of not breaking your fast after your final meal. If your final meal is your main course meal and you have a main course meal set up, and yes, you might have a snack here or there before the main course meal, but you don't eat anything else after the main course meal, then you'll have the best setup for a 16-8 method. Try to have the most calories and most variety in that meal. Try to understand how much you're going to eat during that time so that you reduce your grazing and snacking to a minimum. Those are the three tricks that you want to use when doing the 16-8 method to improve your chances of being successful, to increase health, and of course, to burn more fat. Now, I want to go ahead and thank my patrons for my Patreon, and I'm going to go ahead and put their names right up here.